Doom is a new Emacs configuration similar to Space Max. It makes Emacs fast, good looking, and easy to customize. Doom is built with VI and Vim users in mind. It uses Evil package extensively. Doom only supports Emacs 25.1 or higher. It is, however, recommended to use Emacs 26. Doom was created by Henrik Listener. Feel free to check his other projects. To use Doom, you need Emacs Editor first. Let's start by installing Emacs using Homebrew. I'm using here Emacs Plus Formula, which comes with some additional options already enabled. Similar to a regular Emacs configuration, Doom lives at Emacs D. If you already have an Emacs configuration, you need to back up those files and move them away before proceeding. Let's clone Doom Git repository into an empty Emacs D directory. Emacs D should be located in your home directory. OK, now it's done. Let's go into that directory. And it's very important to use develop branch. The master branch is slightly outdated. So let's check out develop branch. Doom comes with a command line tool located in bin directory under emacsd. So let's use this for the final step, which is running quick start command. This command will set up all the required files with default values. It also installs some of the packages. OK, it took a while, but it's done. We can now start Emacs. This is the welcome screen of Doom. The first step right after setting up Doom is to install the icons to avoid having weird symbols. So I press Meta X on Mac OS. This is Command X. And I type all the icons, install fonts. I press yes. And after a while, I should have the fonts installed. Doom is very similar to Space Max. Most of commands are triggered by the space key, followed by some other keys for the action of your choice. So let's go ahead and press space. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, there is a selection of possible commands to execute. Let's say I want to open a file. I press F for files and then dot for file opening. I can now start typing to select a file. I encourage you to spend a few moments to play around with this functionality. Doom is being constantly developed. There are frequent updates with new features and fixes. For this reason, it is a good idea to keep your own custom configuration separate from Doom configuration in Emacsd. There is a special directory called DoomD, which is used for that purpose. This directory was created with quick start command. It may seem strange at first, but this approach makes things simple. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, I have two files there, init and config. Let's take a look at config. At the beginning, this file is empty. You should put your own custom configuration in here. Let's take a look at the other file, init. Doom comes with many packages that are already set up and grouped into several categories. For example, feature, completion, UI, etc. This way, most of things you would expect from a modern text editor work right off the box. There is a third file you may set up in DoomD directory called packages.el. This file stores information about which packages you would like to install on top of what Doom provides. Once you define the list of additional packages or plugins you would like to install, you can use Doom command line utility to install them. So let's go back to the command line. And let's go back, let's go to Emacsd and let's run Doom install. 
This will install all the plugins that you defined. I already did that, so there is no packages to install in my case. It is a good idea to keep doomd directory under version control. Create a git repository and push it to GitHub so you don't lose configuration. I already did that, so if you'd like to check my own configuration, you can go to github slash zeist slash doomd to check it out. Whenever you modify your configuration, you should always refresh it using doom refresh command. This will ensure everything is in the right place. All needed packages are installed, all our friend packages are removed, and all config files are properly initialized. If you skip this, there may be errors. So it's important to remember that step. It is a good idea to keep Doom up to date. Doom provides two additional commands to simplify that process. The first one is Doom Upgrade, which upgrades the configuration. As you can see, my configuration is not up to date. When I say yes, it will fetch the changes from the Doom Git repository. I won't do that right now. The second command is update, which updates all the packages installed. I have a bunch of packages to install here. I won't do that right now, but you should do it on a regular basis. Finally, if something wrong happens with your Doom configuration, you can always run doctor command. This will investigate if there are any issues related to your environment or setup. It may also give you some clues about what is wrong. Finally, there is a Discord channel where you can ask questions or socialize with other people interested in Doom development.